This is Captain Redbeard, my favorite Lego minifig. And he's kind of going crazy on this island all alone. So for the next 100 hours, I'm going to challenge myself to build him the ultimate Lego pirate paradise. Packed with pirate ships, pirate hideouts, a fortress, tropical islands packed with secret treasure. Secret treasure? Sea creatures and a ton of new minifig friends. Old Redbeard can finally start flexing that pirate lifestyle. So let the challenge begin. Now when I was a kid, Lego pirates was my jam. I loved Captain Redbeard and all those cool adventures I would have on my living room floor. The commercials for it were so cool and especially that booklet that would come with the sets. Look at all that pirate awesomeness. I can't believe I'm about to fulfill my childhood dream and make the sickest ever pirate paradise you could ever imagine. Redbeard is gonna be totally stoked. Now what's the first thing every mega awesome pirate paradise needs? Pirates. And I'm gonna get a ton of them. I tossed a couple hundred dollars at the computer, so let's see what we got. Nice, SpongeBob with the custom eye patch and pirate hat. Come on boy, let's go get that treasure. And we get a bonus, Plankton. Let's put a little pirate hat on him too. Here's Jack Sparrow. He didn't come with his special compass, so let's see what we can do. It's a fine goal, to be sure. Let's go. That'll work. There. Now he will never get lost. For minifig number four, we got Pirate Pig from Angry Birds. Look at his awesome gold tooth and his super big pirate hat. He does look a little bit too pumped up to uh, be here. Hopefully he doesn't eat everybody. Excellent. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Sloth. Goonies was a childhood classic. Totally jam-packed with pirate ships. Tons of treasure and one-eyed willy. This set even came with a skeleton organ to play the bones. We'll definitely put that in a special place later. Flying in from eBay, it's Metal Beard. The name be Metal Beard. This version's perfect, like a little crab on wheels. <laughs> it's so rad. What do we have here? Captain Hook and Peter Pan. Peter Pan's got both of his small gold lethal knives, and Hook's got his golden sword. This is a random Lego pirate captain. I guess we'll keep you. Here's a zombie pirate captain from series 14. We'll keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't eat everybody. I wasn't satisfied. So I put in an order for a whole bunch of Lego Islanders and two King Kahookas and a bunch of shields and spears. And that shield design is really classic. We even got a canoe too. This is the perfect addition to any pirate paradise. Some random skeletons. Every island has a couple lost souls. That's interesting. A new modern day Lego sea captain. Looks like a nice grandpa figure. We got an old beach bum. Looks a bit hungry. Maybe we'll try to get him some grub soon. And just like that, we got a swashbuckling crew of bloodthirsty Lego pirates and friendly Islander locals. Nice. And we can't forget Governor Broadside with his classic 1989 mustache and five o'clock shadow. And with the governor comes the 1989 El Dorado Fortress. This epic fortress keeps the Imperial officers and soldiers safe while keeping the peace, or just keeping the gold they found for themselves. Dug up the treasure. And with the El Dorado Fortress comes the governor, an Imperial soldier officer, four Imperial soldiers, one pirate guy with red hat and blue pants, and the original Captain Redbeard himself. That's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen. They even just announced an updated version of this set, but we couldn't wait. And I like the original one better anyways. This thing has so many cool features for such an old set, but we're still gonna need some upgrades. So let's fix this old rope and add a chain for more stability. And these junk cannons are crazy old they don't even fire so let's update those and add some more cannons too also it looks way too easy to scale those walls well you were right about him being a ding dong so let's add some spikes to the edges to fend off any pirates from stealing the governor's yeah, doubloons I, I think i like this tree over here too it was kind of hiding in the corner over there then i'm going to upgrade this beach and dock but before i do let's establish a look for the water and beach and what better way than by using the style from the barracuda bay this is the ultimate set if you're trying to create a pirate headquarters for redbeard to kick up his feet Ah, it's a boot. I'm sorry, it's like, I told you don't talk about my peg leg. <laughs> it even comes with the star of our show, Captain Redbeard. Ah. With a little bit of Grace Double, the two twins, Port and Starbert, Quartermaster Riggins, Tatuga, Lady Anchor, Robin Loot, and Jack Dark Shark Doubloons. And it's got a boat. Watch out for the shark. You can even turn this set into the Black Seas Barracuda. But for now, we're going to keep it in its shipwreck island build, because that's what we want it for anyways. And we're going to add it to the El Dorado Fortress. Oh, it's so late. I'm going to pack it in for the night. Let's hope they get along during construction. Yeah. You're gonna take our doubloons. You better not touch my loot. Hide it. Good morning. Their entire deck design with sand and water is just perfect. So let's add it to the El Dorado Fortress to have one style for the whole coastline. First, we'll add the water and the sand. Now the wood deck using the same style from the Barracuda Bay set. The general might need to make somebody walk the plank, so let's build that too. I told you it was just one doubloon. Arr. 
are. You forgot the coral pieces down here. Sorry, guy. Let's put that little coral pieces, some driftwood, and these little palm trees. That'll help blend these two sets together nicely. And just to make sure we didn't forget, on the right side over here, this is a perfect spot to put the skeleton organ from the Goonies set so someone can play the bones. And let's put in a little dock behind just as someone wants to take a break and do some fishing. <laughs> Uh-oh, I didn't realize I didn't build the Islanders their own island. Arr, save me. Let's build them the classic Skull Island. I really like this set, but wanted to customize it a bit. So I went onto the computer and built a 3D model of it in a program called Studio. We're giving it a much bigger beach and matching water too to the entire rest of the set. We even put in a trap door for anyone trying to steal our ancient treasure. You know what, let's make this kind of a volcano island instead. This means if you fall in that pit you saw before, you're probably gonna burn a lot, like in Temple of Doom. And the skull will keep just the same. Hold the door! Hold the door! And if we get some visitors, we're gonna need a dock and a nice palm tree for relaxing with a tropical snack. Cheeseburgers? <laughs> and because they're so cool in the other set, we rebuilt another one of those ancient stone faces like you see on Easter Island and put it right in front. Let's also make sure to put some spikes around the perimeter along with some coral and rocks for decoration and some driftwood just to keep the pieces connected together. Look, it even fits in the corner. At this point, we built enough structures for animal migration to begin. <laughs> Let's see what we got. A stingray, which doubles as a surfboard. An octopus with wicked wakeboarding potential. Three sharks, all of them very hungry. Flippers here. A crocodile, who seems to have a thing for Captain Hook. A little pink piggy from the Barracuda Bay set. What did we forget about you, little piggy? Three red parrots, two blue parrots, and don't forget the seagull, so we'll be sure to have some bird poop on our nice brand new docks. Crap. A sea turtle, an older sea turtle, and a cute little baby turtle, and an unhatched turtle egg. We can't forget some of our more delicious sea friends, and a cute little hermit crab. Not sure how tasty he is, but I'm sure this guy will give it a shot. It's good for their tummy. I almost forgot, the monkey. This guy gets into a ton of trouble. We'll get him some of his favorite food later. And just like that, we now have a thriving ecosystem. But Redbeard needs a way to patrol the water Pew. and catch some awesome Pew. grub. Keep your checks. So let's get Redbeard a ship worthy yeah. of his red beardiness. I've heard of one. Since we already have the Black Seas Barracuda, it's currently being used as our party spot. So let's go with a different ship. The Creator 3-in-1 Pirate Ship. It's got a really satisfying white mass design with a black Jolly Roger design in it that really stands out from a distance. It's packed with four cannons and a couple of pirate minifigs. And Captain Ennio Le Sure to be the long-lost cousin of Redbeard or something. We'll be watching nah. closely how this relationship develops. Nah, ain't you ever seen a glizzy? And you can't forget this cool lookout bucket so you can keep an eye out for when the guards are sleeping. And it's got an anchor to drop if you need to. That sounds weird. And a weird Duplo looking shark thing? Looks like the Toxic Avengers half brother. Like he swam through a toxic sludge or something and he turned into your worst nightmare. We're gonna need to gear up to take down the beast. Let's start with a special whaling vessel. It might get dark out there, so let's add a lamp. I think we need a new minifig for this. A minifig with courage. Let's go with Bald Pirate. Well, that's a lame name, so we're gonna call him McBaldy. McBaldy's shark stories are legendary. You know the thing about a shark, he's got black eyes like a doll's eye. I ordered a bunch of swords, machetes, hatchets, handguns, some rifles, and a sausage. Also a very effective <laughs> weapon, but to take down that ugly beast, We'll need more. So let's go with the titanium tip long spear. This should take him down. Oh, steady. And if it fails, you're gonna need a bigger boat. We save the best for last. Dynamite! We got boxes of TNT. Enough to blast that shark into teeny little sharky bits. Oh, steady. Are we too close, Captain? Fatality. Who's hungry? Now we have all these fresh sharky bits. We need some bins to store them. Perfect. Now they'll have fresh and delicious fishes on tap. They seem to have a handle on the fishing, so that's great. But it's hot in the tropics, and we need something refreshing. Pina coladas! And we gotta have bananas. Lego Monkey loves them. We got plenty of wine bottles. Welcome to the Caribbean, life. And after all that seafood, I think Jose's Inn is going to change to Jose's Burger Chef. Today's special, quarter pound beef patty with cheese, lettuce, ketchup, pickles on a sesame seed bun. Ta-da! A perfect patty. Looks like we already got a customer. Now that our pirate homies are all well fed and stocked up for the season, I can't imagine anything that would break this beautiful, tranquil pirate harmony that we've built together. Except for gold. The Dutchman's treasure! Wow! Lots of gold! We got a ton of treasure. Gold pieces and jewels, bling for days. And let's not forget these three pirate maps that they can use to bury their treasure. Now let's be fair, we have to split it up evenly between the pirates, the islanders, and the Imperial Settlers. And just like that, we are done. And after the first night it was complete, I realized they couldn't really see anything by moonlight alone. 
So for this final round, we hook them up with a primo electrician. Me, to light him up. Drum roll, please. Oh, so much better. Now they can party, pillage, and plunder into the wee hours of the morning. You know, I think we really made a difference in Redbeard's quality of life. He went from ashy to classy, and he should really appreciate his new lifestyle, because you never know when disaster might strike. So for this final bonus part, we're going to recreate 125 mile an hour hurricane winds with this Ryobi Leaf Blower. And that's another bonus. I hooked it up to a super soaker to accurately simulate being ripped to shreds by a hurricane. Let's go! Oh, there goes the island. Slum the deck and clean this up. The result was a massacre too terrible to speak of. Thanks for watching Happy Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe.